Hello guys, HackerCrop here and welcome to part 1 of my Blender custom track tutorial. To start off with, we're going to download Blender and at this point I want you to download the daily build of Blender, so Blender 2.9.3 Alpha at the time of this video. You'll see in some people's videos that they're using Blender 2.7 which is actually quite an outdated version and I would advise you not to use that in their videos partly because the videos are themselves updated they will say to use it and that's because in Blender 2.7 to Blender 2.8 they really change the UI but Blender 2.7 is now very outdated so I recommend you download the latest build the build is portable so you can then execute it by opening Blender and we want to create a new file now in Mario Kart the roads are about 2000 game units wide which is two kilometers in Blender each game unit is one meter so we're going to have to scale it out a lot so I'm going to press N go to view change my clipping to start with 10 meters and I end with I mean it's quite a large number so the view won't clip when I zoom out start by deleting everything in the scenes because press A and then X So now let's create our road, pressing Shift A, go to Curve, Path, click here, and make sure the radius is kilometer, so a thousand meters. Zoom out slightly, and then Shift A, to Mesh, Plane, let's make that two thousand meters. And now with our mesh, we're going to go into uh, orthographic downwards view, pressing Z here, and going to press tabs again to edit mode, and control R for loop cuts. Open that here, and hover, I'm going to press click and drag. I haven't let go. I'll make it there, and I can press enter and back to selection and I'm then going to press 3 to select faces this uh, is the vertices, you press 1 on your keyboard 2 on my keyboard, select edges, 3 to select faces press X and then delete faces and what I'm going to use, I'm using the array and curves method so I'm going to add an array modifier that's, uh, that's duplicating it 200 times and I'm going to add a curves modifier. And I'm going to make my curve object path we just created. And for this path, I'm going to click on it, go to the curves button here, and change twist minimum, twist method from minimum to Z up. Otherwise, you'll have twisting in your curve, which will mean you won't be able to create your row properly. And now I've got the curve selected. You should press plus tab to go into edit mode and I should be able to click on one of these vertices press G and should now be able to move my road. This is much more powerful than what you can do in SketchUp so what I was thinking is we can create a, we'll create a figure of 8 for this demonstration so I'm going to press that, I'm going to press E to extrude I am going to select this, press shift Select that and press move it's join and it's F and it'll fill the gap between them and we now have our road. Now let's make this 3D. So I'm gonna actually start with I'm going to open the object we created here. I'm going to edit mode three, I'm going to do some loop cuts. Let's increase the number of cuts to four. and come back here and then I'm now going to use the proportional edit editing tool to add a curve to this I'm gonna you can press O or just click on it press 2 select this point here and press G press Z to show which way I'm going you can now see moving like that what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
scroll out with my mouse and I'll then move it in a more linear fashion just make that minus I can type on my keyboard and you'll see at the top uh, left hand it will appear the distance I've chosen so I'm going to make this road slightly convex because it's slightly harder to play so it's 200 let's tab again and I've now got my curved road and now let's make this 3D shall we so now I'm going to select the curve by moving under, clicking it on here. Now I can tab into edit mode and I can begin to move these vertices upwards, turning off proportional editing, pressing G and Z. Now I'll show you how to rotate your road if you click on a vertice such as this one here. Press Ctrl T. You can now rotate the road as well. So at the top here I'm going to apply that. So now I'm going to fix this here. I'm going to decrease my counter. So so I get these to join. Okay, that's about as close as we'll get. So I'm going to press Control A to apply that modifier, and Control A to apply that modifier, and then we can delete our curve by clicking on it here and pressing X. I'm just going to sort this out. Press Tab to go into Edit Mode. Press Two. Press Alt Click to select all this the edge. Shift Alt Click to select all of this edge, and the Shift is to select both of them, and then press F. And that should now have filled in that face there. Okay, so we've now got our road. We now need to apply the textures and UV unwrap it. So we're going to select the whole thing. Put a new material, base color. Select image texture, press open, and I'm going to choose a texture. So make it this one. And to actually see this texture, I'm going to have to go to my viewport shading here, click this down arrow, and click texture. And I like to put shading to flats when I'm doing textures, because that's how more of how it's going to look in game. Now you can see the texture looks really broken on this and that's because it's not been applied correctly if I move my mouse up to here where I've got that plus icon drag change this to UV editor this is how my textures mapping onto on my object so I'm going to a So basically how this works is you have a UV unwrapping algorithm. You just choose the one which suits you best and then you modify it. I'm going to press U, project from view to bounds. And now that has mapped my objects onto the texture like this. And then we put a bit more effort into get it how I want. But this is just a demonstration I'm going to go with this. We've now across our road uh, looking like a rainbow. Now we need to add the start line, so I'm going to press here, time to edit mode. Let's make our start right here. Oh, this is curved, but I want it to be flat, so I'm going to put on proportional editing, scale, make the size a bit bigger, press Z, and then type zero, and it's made it completely flat. I'm going to go to this point here where it's straight. I'm going to press K for a knife cut, press C, press Z to cut through. And we're going to cut a line here and here. I'm now going to create my start line texture, so I'm going to press plus here, new image texture 
and start line texture here then going to click assign and let's UV unwrap this okay now I've created my start line texture so join areas we've now finished modeling so in the next part of this tutorial I'll cover exporting and converting to a press file for the Wii.